Google doesn't seem too happy with Samsung's smartwatch efforts. The European Union is asking for a correct way to handle in-app purchases. And is it just us or is your Galaxy Tab S melting down as well? I'm Jaime Rivera and I've been waiting for this day for the past week, so cheers everyone. This is Pocketnow Daily. Let's begin today with what's official as you remember that we reported a couple of weeks ago that the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 was doing decently in sales, but it was also having some Wi-Fi issues every time that you would bring your computer back from sleep. And as it turns out, Microsoft has just pushed the software update for the tablet computer. And aside from uh, some interesting improvements in Wi-Fi connectivity, you also get some reliability improvements. So links in the description for full details on how to get it. And also uh, tell us in the comments what your experience is. Now, another interesting official news, the European Union has been complaining for the last couple of weeks over the fact that, uh, yeah, it is deceiving for you to get Asphalt 8 and uh, think that the application is free when you download it and then eventually you learn that it's actually an in-app purchase application that will only work well if you buy those in-app purchases. And uh, the European Union has been commending Google for doing a lot of efforts in improving this and apparently eventually the Google Play Store will actually tell you that an application is not not really free. It's an in-app purchase application, which is great. That's the way it should be. Uh, but you know, the European Union is also complaining that Apple is not doing enough for this. Uh, let's see how that turns out. And for those of you that are wondering whatever happened to Samsung's Tizen phones, you remember that we talked about the Samsung Z that was announced almost a month ago, but was never launched. Uh, the phone was now available at an event in Korea. You can now see some photos of it, links in the description. Uh, though uh, we still don't have any official timing when this phone will reach the market, at least uh, somewhere around here. Uh, let's see how that goes as Tizen does need a phone. And speaking of Samsung, we have some very interesting complaints from the 8.4 variant of the Galaxy Tab S. Customers are already complaining about the fact that the tablet heats up so much that some of them have even ended up with a deformed tablet at the back. And even though the battery has not exploded, it clearly has caught up enough heat to lose form in the back. You can see some photos in the links in the description. Uh, obviously, let us know in the comments as well if you've experienced these issues, as that is one of the biggest problems of working with plastic. The fact that even though it doesn't feel as hot as aluminum, it does look different after a lot of heat. And finally, for the very interesting news of the day, it seems that the relationship between Samsung and Google continues to be stressed, as you remember that uh, Google complained about the fact that Samsung changed the whole UI for those tablets that were announced at CES, and you know, Samsung ended up changing everything. And uh, as it turns out, Google is not happy with the fact that Samsung is promoting its Tizen smartwatches more than it has the Gear Live. And that's very interesting as Android Wear is the new thing, it's really cool, but Samsung feels that they want to promote the Gear 2 and other smartwatches that they have based on Tizen more than they want to promote the Android one. Uh, and that really leads me to the question of the day. If right now you have to pick between the Samsung Gear Tizen smartwatches and the Samsung Gear Live, which would you pick? Because in my particular case, after such bad experiences with Samsung and software updates, I would prefer to support the Gear Live. I would definitely prefer that one, but leave us a comment down below, which is your pick, Android L or Samsung's proprietary UI? Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier or before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.